the Knight of Quills. The object, truth, or the satisfaction of the intellect and the object, passion, or the excitement of the heart are, although attainable to a certain extent in poetry, far more readily attainable in prose. So as you can see with this Knight of Quills, he is in motion. Uh, this is uh, very active energy. Um, there's a lot of excitement here, you know, with the horse kind of standing on his hind legs. This is like coming in for the attack. So something someone is is ready to go. Someone is ready to take an action. Someone is 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 coming in very quickly um with this action here with the Knight of Quills. Like they are um they are somewhat agitated. They are um excited and ready to do whatever this thing is that they have planned. It's like the Knight of Swords. The object, truth, truth and passion. So um, this sword that the Knight carries, I'm feeling like this is the sword of truth. So someone is ready to come in with the truth. This could be like their true feelings. This could be the truth about some situation that you know they are ready to uh reveal someone is moving toward the truth or they're moving in with the truth this could be someone who has been holding back the truth from you about something how they feel um and they're ready to make that truth be known The four, four of Pauls is at the bottom of four pentacles. <clears throat> of course, here they're standing on these four books, this uh, this cat. Um, I've been seeing the four of pentacles quite a bit. The four of pentacles can mean a lot of things like holding on to something tightly. Uh, with this, I often think about the four of pentacles as someone driving. Um, but it can also be... Um, just really holding on tightly to something, kind of leaving the city. Uh, so someone may be uh, leaving, with, especially with this Knight of Swords, leaving the city that they're in. Someone is ready to leave that city. Um, let me see what else. Let me see something I already flipped over. The King of Candles was flipped already. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Stag, Leo. But these knights are usually mutable signs. The knight of quills could be a Gemini. So perhaps... Um, what you don't realize is this person has been showing you just one side and they're ready to reveal the truth about this other side of them. The Ace of Cups. Um. So, yeah, I mean, this does feel like it is some truth about an emotional situation, some truth about 
um, a love situation, a romance situation, or someone is moving in toward this new love, beauty or whatever, beauty of whatever kind is in its supreme development invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. So yeah, I, I feel like, you know, the the motivation behind this night, taking this movement, has to do with some um something that is very sensitive to them. It's likely a romance, um a love situation. So this could be someone coming in to either protect their love, you know, coming in to reveal this, um, to reveal how they feel about you. And at the bottom, you got this ace of whales, also an ace of pentacles. So a lot of aces, like someone's ready to, um, to start something anew. <clears throat> So they perhaps have been holding back for a long time on how they particularly felt about this situation. Let's see what else. Perhaps this Pisces supermoon is really activating someone's emotions, how they really felt. say you have to be careful queen of quills okay so we got a, a queen of whales we got a queen a knight and the ace okay so the queen of cups the queen of whales you know they're often like looking into um their cup of love you know i feel like so with this this could be um okay masculine or feminine but i i am getting that this may be a feminine energy like you know so some woman who has kind of been looking at you know her emotional state um is really coming to terms about, you know, how she feels about this particular situation. Now, this may be, um, uh, this may be about this, you know, this night of quills, but I kind of get the feeling that, you know, this is, um, kind of the state that this night of quills has been in, in the past, kind of just really just pondering their emotional state and finally getting ready to take some action on it because they want, you know, this kind of new beginning in um this this new beginning in romance and love. At the bottom is the eight of whales. So this could be someone who, you know, walked away. Uh, from love in the past and now are wanting to come back in for a new chance at romance. So this is going to be a, you know, a past, you know, a past romantic partner who now wants to come back in um, because they have spent a lot of time, you know, thinking about. And sometimes, you know, when people walk away, that's like their chance to now really 
you know, get some clarity on what their emotions have been. A lot of people can't really, you know, uh, understand their emotions when they are, you know, kind of in a situation. It's not until they have walked away or you, their partner has walked away that now they can understand, oh, I shouldn't have done that. This was like actually something that was really emotionally fulfilling for me. And now that they've had time to sit and look at that cup, like they've done that already. Now they want to come in very quickly and say, you know, no, I want this to restart. I want this new beginning in love and romance because this cup was something that I needed. I didn't recognize that at the time, but now I want to come in and make that known. And they want to come in very fast and very quickly. They probably don't want to, you know, with that, that whole concept of like, you know, the poetry versus the prose. They want to be very um, kind of practical in it. They don't really want to spend a lot of time kind of going back into the emotion because they've done that already. It's probably someone who's very uncomfortable with like dealing with emotions, but they've had time to sit with it. They want to come back to you and not really address like all of the stuff from the past. They just want to kind of come back in and be with you and let it be kind of like more you know, good times than rehashing the emotional stuff, which, you know, that can be understandable, but sometimes that's not very, that's not really fair to someone who's kind of been hurt by, you know, um, rejection or things like that. But I'm kind of getting that energy of someone who wants to take this action towards you, who wants to kind of come back in very quickly. Pisces moon got them showing out out here. Somebody said that. Be careful because the werewolves are out here. I think that one is. Let's see what else we can get on this. Feeling for this night of quills, night of quills. Who is this night of quills? What do they want to say? What is this truth? taking a lot for them to say it too they they definitely like waited a long time if they're ready to come forward it's been a long time in the making I'm getting like before COVID I shouldn't have said that but yeah Moist, moist towelette. Take the et off the end and you're left with a moist towel. You. Take the et off the end. So something about this, when you add an et to the end of something, you know, that, that changes it to, um, a word to like a feminine, you know, like, and I guess at is like, a, it makes it smaller to taking the at off the end of moist towel, MT, 
EMT. I don't know. Man. Is this someone who's like, um, perhaps this is someone who uh, is like a medical professional, someone who's kind of like an EMT or like a paramedic or something like that, someone who drives like some kind of work vehicle. Um, so like their work, they're usually like out on, you know, in, they do their work from a vehicle, some kind of like van or truck or something like that. I'm getting, um, and it could be someone who I get like a little bit of androgynous energy. So this could be either like a, like a stud. This could be like a, um, a a gay man perhaps um a bisexual man i don't know it's something like that a woman with a short haircut um so but it doesn't necessarily have to be like lgbt it could just be like you know a man who's more who does something more um that's considered more feminine like a, a man who's a nurse people with no rhythm they might not be able to dance, but they sure are fun to watch. Um, that's interesting. That could be like, you know, a white person who does like black music or a black person who does say country music. Like, like, a, um, that could be like a, uh, Lil Nas X or a, um, you know, like an Adele type person, or if it is like an interracial relationship, like, you know, like someone who is, you know, perhaps dating like someone outside of their race or someone who, you know, maybe doesn't necessarily like look their race. That may be like a little bit racially uh, ambiguous. No rhythm, moist toilet. Okay, what about this queen of cups? kind of OCD with that moist toilet. Password, Starbucks, Moist Toilet, Handcuffs, Godzilla, people with no rhythm. So in between Moist Toilet and people with no rhythm, got Handcuffs and Godzilla. Someone may have like a um like a King Kong tattoo, a Donkey Kong tattoo, something like that. Um. Uh, or a kind of like a dinosaur tattoo, something like that. I'm getting a giant nuclear contaminated monster first introduced in 1954, often referred to as that guy in the rubber suit. Um, you know, I'm also getting this thing of like, you know, using like condoms, like using protection. So this may be somebody, you know, that may have like an STI of some sort. Um, maybe it's a um, 
a caution to kind of use condoms you know if you're jumping into like a very quick romance or they're coming back in quick you know if you are having sex with that person you want to use condoms and handcuffs you have the right to remain silent bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you they may be uh jamaican uh Bayesian. I was getting like Rihanna a little bit, somewhere from the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, take what you will. All right, that's my little message this morning. I appreciate it.